Hello everyone, this is Said from Medonix again, and as I promised you last time, uh, we wanted to expand the uh, size of our uh, Raspberry Pi image. And for this, I'm back on my Ubuntu machine, but uh, everything is the same as my last video. And I have the RPI image here. And uh, to expand its size, if you remember uh, the last time we checked it inside the Raspberry, uh, it had only 300 megabytes of free space. So uh, expanding it is quite easy. Uh, all you need to do, uh, at least from your uh, house side, is to uh, use camo-image, then uh, the resize uh, switch, then the name of your uh, image, in this case RPI dot image and uh, you need to say for example uh, plus one g for uh, one gigabytes of extra space so you can play around with this you know you can make it two gigabytes one gigabyte but anyway for my case one gigabyte is quite enough so i'm going to press enter and the image is resized here now we have to uh, go to the uh, Gist or or uh, Raspberry Pi image uh, we have to boot in it, and we are gonna run it through or uh, run me a script that we wrote last time, and uh, we wait for it until it comes up. But this time I will just stop the video. Okay, guys, our uh, Raspberry Pi is fully booted up, but uh, as I told you last time, because we have forwarded the serial of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, to the uh, terminal for a uh, host uh, machine we can just simply use the host machine to uh, log in because I don't like to work in this small window I just going to minimize it then I go back to my own terminal I will log in as the user pi and the password raspberry okay now I clear the window okay now uh, the second step is to uh, do some fdisk on your uh, um, uh, file structure <laughs> okay and uh, the, the command is sudo uh, you need this because this is gonna be a system change so uh, to make sure everything works fine and you have permission you have to uh, use sudo here then uh, you follow with the FDS command, then a slash dev or dev device SDA, and the SDA is the uh, name of our file system in this uh, emulation instance. So uh, I'm going to put P for the FDS, and it will show us the uh, current available partitions. Uh, forget about the first one; we don't need to change this. But we're gonna delete the uh, second one, th that is the one on the SDA2. And you have to keep in mind, uh, you have to really memorize this number because uh, you're gonna need it for recreating the partition. So now I'm going to say D, and I will delete, uh, delete partition number 2 by entering 2, because 2 refers to the SDA2. And uh, partition 2 is deleted now. I do another uh, P to uh, query the current. And you see only uh, device 1 has, uh, SDA1 has remained. But now I'm going to uh, create a new one. And uh, let's see, M, C, delete. OK, add a new partition. OK, I put N. And uh, we have to make it primary, so I would put P, and the partition number would be 2. And the first sector is going to be the, the number that I told you to memorize. In this case, it's 122, 880, 122, 880. So we're going to start from this sector for creating our new partition. And the end doesn't matter because we're just gonna accept the default value because uh, if we press enter, it will be uh, it will use the maximum size available on the device. 
or in this case or image now everything is okay we just need to press W to save our uh, uh, changes to commit our changes you see the W command is uh, the help is here and uh, we are done now we have to reboot for this I will use sudo reboot and uh, the Raspberry Pi will be rebooted and after that uh, we will come back again and uh, do the last step okay guys the Raspberry Pi has been rebooted again and I'm going to log in again uh, with username pi and password raspberry and this is going to be the final step we need uh, to uh, we need to resize our partition actually by using the command sudo resize to fs then the name of our uh, partition dev slash slash dev slash uh, sd a2 now now it's done so we're gonna say df dash h now you can see that our uh, root partition has been increased uh, by one gigabyte and this will allow you to do some more stuff more interesting stuff on your uh, raspberry pi uh, for an example uh, i'm going to show you how to uh, connect to the raspberry pi using the secure shell or ssh uh, and uh, boot it into um, so-called uh, desktop or uh, GUI mode so uh, stay aware for the next video thank you and goodbye